this is Eric from Gaming Nexus. And today I'm checking out I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. So this game is uh, coming out today, it's August 25th. Um, coming out today on uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, PC, Max, Linux, Steam, Humble, Epic, and itch.io. So, I mean, it is everywhere. Everywhere. And I have not had the chance to really uh, dig into the game and give it give it a, a full review. I haven't had a chance to play it at all, so I thought I would take my lunch hour today and play it and then post the uh, post the footage so people can at least check it out, make a decision. Um, content warnings, that's interesting. Oh, interesting. Wow. Wow! Stuff's gonna go down in this game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see here. Let's make sure we have... V-Sync is on. Very, very cool. Okay. Let's hit it. Let's see what it's all about. Wake up! May not be suitable for all players. See the content warnings. That's fair. Confusion, light, heat, smoke, fire. It's bad. Fire bad. Head is pounding. Not sure how you got here. What on Vertumna is happening? Vertumna. I guess that's where we are. Something important you need to remember. Oh! Down we go. Your body aches. Burn from the smoke. Wait, who is that? Your friend? You can't remember her name. She's gesturing and shouting at you. What's going on? Try to speak. The words come out all jumbled. You're dizzy and confused. She pulls you out of the rubble. She throws her arm over her shoulder. Drags towards the door. Through it, you see a deep, eerie twilight. Ooh. Glow season. Okay. Is that a dog? <laughs> That is not a dog! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I was a teenage exocolonist. I do like this theme song. Bum, 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 bum. Born on the stratospheric Earth's first colony ship, halfway through its 20 year voyage to a world at the edge of the solar system. Your parents run the hypopondric gardens, fresh vegetables for the ship. Like other colonists, they bravely chose to make this one way journey to the uncharted planet Vertumna 4. A little trouble with the Roman numerals there, in hopes that they could escape Earth's troubles. They had you the old fashioned way, merging their genes. But they merged their cultures and traditions. They named you... Uh... Solana. You're a bright-eyed child with an active imagination, sometimes too active, your mom says. Use the sliders on the left to choose pronouns and late teens appearance. These can be changed at any time. Alright. Oh, fun. Alright, so, wait, wait. Nope. Oh, that's cool. We can be like a non-binary type. If I could get there, we go. <laughs> right stick, androgynous, masculine appearance. We'll go ahead and be a girl. We didn't name her Solanda after all. You have vivid dreams of things you've never experienced: dirt under your feet, skies overhead, endless jungles, and strange animals. You wonder if this is what Fortuna will be like. Oh boy, look at all this. Can I do anything with this? I can't. Okay. Every child on the stratosphere is given one genetic enhancement by age six. 
can see the first sign of yours. So we have eagle eyes, we have extra fingers, we can have an absorbent brain, super strength, calm temperament, or nothing at all. I wonder what if this absorbent brain gets us. Be like smart, right? Let's see that. Professor House says kids learn fast because their brains are sponges. When people get older, they can't absorb so much new stuff. It's true. Not for you. You're always learning. Your curiosity knows no end. Cool. The other kids have trouble keeping up with you. Okay, so we can be energetic. Oh, oh, we can we can pick a friend here. Bold and confident. Mars. Quiet and adventurous. Diz. Studious and mature tangent. Shine sweet. Let's pick Mars. Well, maybe we don't want bold and confident. Let's pick somebody quiet and adventurous. Unlike a serious, studious twin sister tangent, he's the kind of boy who sits in the back of the classroom and doodles on his hollow palm. Crack jokes. His quiet nature and morbid curiosity. I like that. Make him a loner, but at least he has a friend in you. Yeah, he needs a friend. We'll be his friend. Yeah! You're ten years old when the ship finally reaches the wormhole. It's a doorway to the other star systems. The planet Vertumna 4 on the other side. You run emergency drills for months to prepare. When the day finally comes, it starts with the rumble, and things start to slide off tables. You hurry to gather the near the escape pods, just in case. Emergency area is crowded with families. It's gonna be fine! We'll be through the wormhole and down on the planet before you know it, just like we practiced. Red emergency light switch on as the siren begins to sound somewhere distant in the ship. Try to breathe slowly like you were taught, but you're very scared. You look out a porthole, the stars are gone. When you're frightened, you... Well, we got the empathy. We might as well use it, right? Let's get in touch with our emotions. You ball like a baby. <laughs> Stress cry. <laughs> it feels good. You aren't the only one. Nearby, your classmate Tammy has tears streaming down her cheeks, and Mars is trying to quietly console her. She sighs because your crying makes Tammy wail even more loudly. Your dad puts his arms around you. She let it out. You wait. The shaking builds. And everything starts to get very weird. Is this the wormhole? The metal grinds, the ship shudders, there's lurching, there's deja vu. I'm sure this has happened to you before, somehow. You know everything's gonna be okay. You hear an impossibly loud crunch and feel weightless for a few seconds before gravity slams you back against the wall head first. You black out. You slip unconscious. It's today, yesterday, and tomorrow all at once. More than just one tomorrow, lots of them different tomorrows. You find yourself in a place that you know from your dreams. Tilted fields, dramatic ridges, and a stranger, but also not a stranger. She grabs your hand. Hurry up! I'm not going to let you miss this. Distantly, you feel the ship shaking is stopped. Feeling safe, you slip further into the warm embrace of the stars. You drift. Gradually, your consciousness reforms. You wake up in the med bay. Two weeks have elapsed. The patient's cranial injury has completed healing. They may now be safely discharged. Something's different about the room. It's so bright. Something's definitely different. Sunlight? Instead of the blackness of space, bright light from twin blue and yellow sun streams in. Got some mushroom-like trees. There's construction going on. People are walking around outside on the ground. Better get out there and join them. I think we're excited. Oh, look! Here I am! Yo, yo, yo! Oh! Tammy jumps up and steps out of the ship for You're awake, all better? You better go see your dad. She points southeast towards some geodesic domes. Walk on the ground. Click on characters to talk to them. Yo. 
Tammy looks concerned. You slept for so long. I bet your parents were worried. Your dad's working over in geoponics near those domes. They're called greenhouses. This is as far as I've been from the ship since we landed. It's scary out here. Yo, I'm glad I wasn't friends with you. Tammy, what goes on here? What is this? Engineering, all right. You know the route to your classroom rail the rest of this wing is off limits to children. Don't forget to study hard. All right, out we go. Hmm. The garrison, a small team led by security chief Rhett Butler. It was enough to keep the peace in the stratosphere to stay busy. They also ran the exercise gym and sports ball courts. Now they're building a huge wall around the colony, have an outdoor firing range, and a big covered dojo. Sweet! They got a sports ball court! Things are going down. Here it is. Sports ball. Yo, is this dad? This looks like dad. I guess I'll talk to him. I'm so happy you're finally awake. They kept you asleep while you're noggin healed. Snooze little gooseberry. Looks at your head, he looks relieved, he's worried about you, but covers it with jokes and smiles. Aw, I love you, Dad. Welcome to Vertuma, he says, gesturing around. We've never seen the stratospheric from the outside except in pictures. She was separated in two parts taken off to form other buildings and a big wall around the other colony. How did you do this so fast? You going to sleep for weeks? It's only a quick temporary solution. We'll keep growing and improving things. One day our little colony will be as big as a whole city. Before I forget, here you go. Don't you know what day it is? You don't remember. You've been asleep in the med bay. It's your birthday! What? Your birthday already? You stare hard at the wrap package. You know exactly what's in there. You remember it. You dreamed it. <clears throat> Some years ago on the ship. You got psychic powers. Inside will be a small medallion in the shape of the sun that your dad made by hand. Hmm. Let's just open it. Let's not make it weird. How did you know about this? But how? You okay? Dr. Instant says uh, I shouldn't let you out so early. Sometimes those sleepy mates take a while to wear off. I have to get back to work. There was an accident when we landed. Don't worry about it. We'll fix it. Your mother. Dr. Hal is expecting you in classes if you're up for it. Or you can relax in our quarters. Love you too, Dad! To enter buildings, click on the door of the flag beside it. Press enter with the action button. Choose an activity for the month to gain skills and advance time. There are 13 months a year and 10 years to the end of the game. You only have time to focus on a few things. Alright. Alright. Okay, so this is probably biology, right? Like, what do you think this is? Creativity, maybe? And this is... There's no way of knowing. There's no way of knowing. Uh, no. Don't want that. Oh, hey, it's my friend! Let's talk to my friend. Hey, friend. Kids aren't allowed past the walls. They say there's nothing to be afraid of, but then why do we need walls? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dark and wiggly. Mm-hmm. Nightmares of monsters, your ship being destroyed, if you the wreckage. Your dad always told you your dreams weren't real. I think there are monsters out there. Yo, I believe you. No, you don't. You're being sarcastic. Nobody believes me. You're huge and wriggly and dangerous. Stop making fun of me. You're as bad at Hey, I wasn't trying to make fun of you, homie. Like, why are you so sensitive? Be sensitive. I ain't talking to you anymore today. Sensitive mo. All right, let's go pursue some creative endeavors. See what's up. Pick an activity to do this month. Relax in the lounge. <laughs> Press 1, friendship with Tammy, minus 100 stress. Forget one memory. Uh, I don't want to just relax in the lounge. That feels soft. Uh... Alright, we 
already did that. Alright, what do we got going on here with her? Anemone feels really at home here. She's rolling a sports stall all around with her foot. This stuff is different from snow on Earth because it isn't cold, but it's still neat. You can make stuff out of it. Why aren't you in school? School? I wonder where everybody was. She doesn't look very worried. Hey, Rasha. She's getting a head start. She ain't going anywhere. Greenhouse. So it looks like my only real option is to chill in the... Uh... Oh, view the notice board. Upcoming event, we will be f hosting our first annual festival. Uh huh. So it looks like my only real option is to hang out here for the month. You're tired and your head is still feeling weird. Another month of taking it easy in your family's quarters will probably help. Ugh, no social media. Negative. Look for friends in the lounge. You don't see many other kids in the lounge. They must all be at school or having fun adventures without you. Eventually, Tammy comes in. She cries a lot. I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Snacks for the little ones. Can't stay too long. I hope you feel better now. Everybody's so worried about you. Drink liquids. Hooray! Took the month off. Do I want to forget? No, I don't. I, I don't think I do want to forget. I want to keep my cards. They're gone all the time. Used to see them all the time. You stay up and wait for them at night. They're exhausted, but they make an effort to spend time with you. I got some rest. I'm not going to complain about things. We're not complaining. You looked a little under the weather earlier. All good now? I'm feeling much better now. I don't want you slacking off. Everyone is working really hard. You got to work. Get to work. Don't be like that. Go to school. You can do it. This colony is an experiment. That means we're going to do things differently than on Earth. You're old enough now to start making your own decisions about your education and future. If that means you find your own way, we'll accept that. We'll be proud of you no matter what you do. Try talking to your friends. They may have ideas of how you can spend your time. And come by Geoponics! What? Really quiet. Next month. Mid quiet. Oh, the quiet must be a uh, season. Alright. That's her. Hey, it's Lana Marskals. Come here, I have a job for you. You can walk over. It's so gross here. The spark snow could ruin my good clothes. At least on the ship, we have climate control. Jeremy made me some soy sweets. So there's no way I'm going out in all this weather. Since you like running around, it, can you fetch them for me? Sure. Yeah. She's just down the hill near our quarters. Right, I gotta go find Tammy the crybaby. There she is. What up, Tammy? I'm here for the soy sweets. Oh, that's nice of you. One order of mango soy sweets. Here you go. Ours is so cool. Sometimes she's kind of bossy, but I know she cares. Alright. Here you go. I ate them. <laughs> I get a card if I eat them. Alright. Doesn't seem the way to be, right? You're such a good sidekick doing everything I say. Oh, well, now I wish I would have ate him. Just looking for someone to deliver jobs at the depot. Just go through there and tell him I referred you. Here's mom and dad. Here's angry boy. I dare you to eat this worm. Alright. What have you been 
doing today? Just hanging with my friends. That cow's a good boy. That's magnificent, isn't it? Seasons. I miss seasons. Back on Earth, it got much, much colder. Wait until dust season, then it'll be real hot. You'll see. Yo, I can shovel dirt. I can gain up toughness, kudos, and stress. Yeah. Let's do the dirt. Looks like you've been working for your old lady. Get comfortable with this! Get to work, let's have enthusiasm. Your arms start to ache after the first half hour of work, but you keep going. By the end of the month, you feel utterly drained and exhausted, and good somehow. You can feel your muscles growing already. Yeah. Build some toughness. Look at this. Look at what I got. When you work out or go to class, you play a quick card challenge as the month passes. Move the cards, fill the five panes, and make the best hand you can. The order matters. If your total... And the circle on the right reaches the goal value, you win. Depending on your card, some challenges can't be won, but you still get a reward for doing your best. Well, that's nice. Bonus for flushes, the same color together. Bonus for pairs, same number together. Bonus for straights, increasing from left to right. The more cards in a flush, pair, or straight, the higher the bonus added to your total. Cards can also affect each other and can be arranged to find the best total score. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put stress cry. No, that's not what I want. All right, that's okay. There. All right. Cool. Last pain. When. I probably I probably could do good putting those twos together, but I'll just take it as it is. You worked well this month. You got some toughness. Working increases stress. Okay. Cool. Mars called you a liar and a dummy. At night, your dreams are all mixed up with things you know can't be real. That looks like an old grown Tammy right there. Well, if these things haven't happened yet, what if they will someday? Anytime you try to tell someone you think that it's a trick or that you're sick, you eventually decide to stay quiet about your strange dreams. Secret powers are fun. You start a private journal. You write down your dreams. Some of them are very scary. Alright, here we go. Be quiet. Lake wide. All right. I need more cards. I need to build my deck. Man, look at all these guys. All right, what's up, with Mr. Friend? I still cannot dare him to eat a worm. All right. What's going on down here, sports ball? Heads up. Ooh, uh, unlocked sports ball in the garrison. Nice! What you got going on there? Professor Hale wants to prep a list of native flora pictures. Let's 
Let's make our own list. And run around taking pictures of all the things. You've categorized 51 different species. Oh look, I get more brains for doing that. Nice. What's up, crybaby Tammy? We used to play together. Tammy had the best doll collection. After mom died, her dad used his nano printer creds to print her a different doll each month for a whole year. Do you want to play with dolls? Yeah, let's do it. Let's be nice. You don't think she'll ever be too old to play with dolls. Spend the afternoon making up stories. That's nice. So I see you, you talk to people and make choices and that increases your stats there on the side. Ground here is way harder to hover on than ship floors. There are bumps everywhere. We all have to adapt, yo. Things are way better at planet side. Hovering outside is rad. Look at this. Cool. Can I try? Yeah, yeah. Got that toughness. Nice. And perception. What's up, Mom? You're making those greenhouses. Remember, you're responsible for your own schedule now. You can spend your time as you fully want, so long as it's productive. Professor Hale is still expecting you in class, but a well-rounded education includes practical application. Ooh. Can I join expeditions? Oh no. For now, stay inside the walls. What goes on in geoponics? You're too young for real farming. What's happening in engineering? Hell's teaching classes on life science engineering and humanities. Maybe he'll let you work there in a few years. Wow. Okay, I think I get all this. What's up, Dad? Alright, later. Here you are, making fun of me. Alright. What is this place now? Command. I'm not tough enough to deliver the supplies. What is this? No, this is the quarters, right? I'm not gonna relax in the lounge. Here we go. Study humanities or study life sciences, biology, reasoning. I did pick absorbent brain, so I suppose I ought to kind of focus on that. Try registering for engineering classes. Mush trees. Huh. All right, all right. You can see, okay, so now it's giving you the option to like skip the card challenges. I like the card challenges. All right, so the goal is 12, right? So we're gonna go zero, zero. Oh wait, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Crap. Back up, back up. Ugh, I don't know how to back up. I still got enough to win, but I feel like I could have won better. I feel like I could have had a super win.
cool. I like this game. I like this gentle kind of choose your own adventure thing. The card challenges are not what I expected. I was expecting like a deck building sort of thing. Um, so yeah, like I dig it. <laughs> I, I dig it. It is uh, just a gentle, nice story driven game about a kid. Uh, who was a teenage exocolonist. So very, uh, very likable sort of thing. Again, it doesn't make for the most scintillating video making, obviously. It's not a lot of action, but, um, but I could see they're sitting there one afternoon, maybe several afternoons, kind of playing through this story and seeing where things go. All right, well, that's it. Uh, this is I Was a Teenage Exocolonist. Uh, thanks for watching if you watched. And check out GamingNexus.com for uh, news, reviews, all that good stuff. Take care, y'all. Have a good one.